Welcome to part 2 of the Super Mario Bros. playthrough. Now we're on to World 3. Ah, uh, yee. Yeah. And I think, and it's our first nighttime level. Ah, uh, diggity. I definitely, definitely love the nighttime aesthetic in this stage. But what do you prefer more? The original or the All Stars aesthetic? Ooh. For the nostalgia's sake, I would say this. I would too. Actually, I would say this in general. What about you, Caster? Do you prefer the NES or SNES aesthetic of nighttime stages? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, now we're introduced to these jerks, the Hammer Brothers. What an asshole! I was waiting for that. <laughs> Happy Be to deliver. Best thing to do when you've got a fire flower is take them out from a distance. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to hurt. So, anyways, if you back, if you hit this particular block, you're gonna have a bad time. Anyways, you hit the corner, the block, corner, top corner block here. You find a beanstalk that takes you to a bonus room. Ah, uh, yeah. Which I think, how many beanstalk bonus rooms are there in this game? Were there two or was that it? Um, I want to say three, but I can't remember. I think there was three. I'm trying to count in my head, I'm trying to remember where all they were. And it's here, and around here, you can do a one-up trick, which is one of those tricks I've never been able to pull off. Immediately. Until now. <laughs> nah, I can never pull it off. I'm not quite that, that skilled at mutton bash. Mutton bash. Button mashing. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to admit that. Hmm. Right, on to world three, two. So anyways, what's your favorite favorite piece of music from Super Mario Brothers? I would have to say, hilariously enough, the underwater theme. What about you, Casta? I like them all. <laughs> now it's also interesting to note. The clouds and bushes in this game, they both share the same graphic. When you look, hmm. at, when you look, it took, it, sometimes you would, t first time players will probably take a while to notice it. But I think that easter egg was also carried over to uh, other games like this one stage in Mario Kart 7. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I regret getting rid of Mario Kart 7 now. Yeah. I never get. I would never get rid of any old Mario games, even if they are a bit. Even they are a bit on the redundant side. Yeah. <laughs> They're old, but golden. Mm-hmm. Right, our third castle. Now, here's a little interesting question to know. When the Switch comes around to, to getting a virtual console, what are the odds mm. of them porting some 3DS games to the Switch? Like, say, Star Fox 64 3D, for example. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, but then... On the one side, 
it would kind of defeat the purpose of 3DS because you won't really have much in the way of 3D. Yep. But then again, on the flip side, who does play their games in 3D anyway? <clears throat> well, seriously enough, I tried to do the 3D for um, for Black and White and Black and White 2 just so I could see what would happen when I go over a particular bridge, or I forget which one. And unfortunately, nothing happened. Right, I was expecting well, to get done. some and crazy... Now we're on to World 4. And it's, here we're, and it's here we're introduced to another to an annoying enemy. The Lakitu Brothers. <laughs> well, here we Suddenly... Go. Suddenly, like a luster. Oh, hi, when did you get here? It is Lakitu. I've always said. Lakitu. God damn it. Are we gonna, <laughs> uh, are we gonna have tomato. this. Are we gonna have this argument every time we bring up this particular. me? Yes! Mm, could be. But anyway, whatever the name is, it's annoying. He is annoying. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Then again, what would you, which version of Lakitu would you say is the more annoying? The ones in Mario f Mario 1 or the ones in Mario 3? Ooh. Actually, the ones in Mario 3 are a bit e easier to deal with because of the improved mechanics. This game, they're just some assholes. <laughs> what about the ones in Mario World? Oh, those are both dickish and, at the same time, such a guilty pleasure to jump on. That you get because you get to hijack that cloud. <laughs> right, our second underground level. Play the fire flower and roast the Goombas. Bye. Now, what the Goombas are originally Mushroom Kingdom inhabitants? Yep, but it's all because of one unfortunate concept. <laughs> now, that's racist. Now this particular block here has a has a beanstalk that'll take you to a warp zone that gets you to worlds six, seven, and eight, which we're not going to use. <laughs> if it was doing a speed run of this game, we would probably use them. But that would be too easy. And we just don't do easy. Because the audience deserves better. Mm-hmm. Once again we see the fuzzy meatloaf. <laughs> God damn it, Elliot. I shout out to the SGB brothers. Anyways. Out of the pipe. And onto the flag. All right, world for free, and look, we're literally tripping out on shrooms. Mushroom. Da -da. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Two, three. <sighs> now, quick question: Were these mushrooms included in Super Mario Maker? Which ones? 
the mushrooms in World 4 free? Hmm. Wait, are you talking about the poison mushrooms? Oh no, wait, those were in the last levels, never mind. Anyway, World 4 and our first maze castle. Actually, oh, I did like this. here it goes. Wait, if you're going by if you're going by the original NES version, it you would have no idea which way to go. Not a clue. <laughs> but since we already did a did a test recording, we have exactly nowhere to go. And bye bye Bowser. <laughs> and with that, that concludes episode two of the Mario Brothers the Super Mario Brothers playthrough. <laughs> so we shall see you guys next time. See ya! Bye.